Hey guys, Kev here. Over the last two seasons, we got confirmation that Jon Snow has Targaryen blood, and in season seven, Jon and Drogon had a little moment. So many people are wondering if Jon will ride a dragon in season eight, especially if Danny gets pregnant and cannot fight versus the dead army. I titled the video, Will Jon Snow Ride a Dragon? Because that's the more popular search term, but the true question is, will Jon bond with a dragon? The distinction's important, and it's the reason that I do not think Jon will ever ride a dragon solo. But it's not impossible. There are four ways that I could see it going down, and the last one's actually pretty likely, despite how much my dorky ass is against it. Number one, the most unlikely version is dying again, and this time, instead of being resurrected with fire magic, Sam uses dragon glass to heal him, so to say, like Benjen. If John is converted into a Benjen, he may be able to bond and ride a dead dragon. Maybe he could steal Viserion, or maybe Rhaegal, if Rhaegal gets killed. This version is very unlikely, but I think it's pretty cool, especially if Danny gets corrupted by Kinvara and the faith of Rolor. Then John could use a white dragon to fight Danny and Drogon. But keep in mind, this dragon would not be an ice dragon. Viserion is not an ice dragon. He's a white dragon breathing blue flame. Ice dragons exist, but they're a completely separate species that's made out of ice and shoot ice instead of fire. And if you didn't know, dragon flame comes in a variety of colors. Valerian the Black Dread shot black fire. And in the books, Drogon also shot black fire, but Drogon's dragon flame, like his scales, is capped off with a little bit of red. Viserion's flame is pale gold with red and orange. Rhaegal's is orange and yellow with some green. King Aegon II's dragon, Sunfire, the most beautiful dragon ever, shot golden flame. And Tessarion, the blue queen, shot flames of cobalt blue. Pretty cool. Okay, number two, Jon riding Drogon. My friend Elamar believes that Jon will ride Drogon. There's a problem with this theory, but Elamar has a good rebuttal. In A Song of Ice and Fire history and lore, no dragon rider has ever bonded with two dragons, and on top of that, no dragon has ever been bonded by two people at the same time. Dragons live a long time, so several dragons have bonded with two or more people over the course of their long lives, but no dragon has ever bonded with two people at the same time. They bond with new riders only after their rider dies. Rider die, skater die. A great example of this is Cyrax. In The Dance of the Dragons, Princess Rhaenyra, or Queen Rhaenyra, she was in the Red Keep, and the common folk were rioting on the streets of King's Landing. They were storming the dragon pits, trying to kill all the dragons there. Rhaenyra's son Joffrey was up at the Red Keep with her, but his dragon Tyraxes was chained at the dragon pit. So Joffrey snuck over to his mother's dragon Cyrax and tried flying over to the dragon pit. Bad move. Rhaenyra knew it was a bad move. Cyrax was familiar with Joffrey, so she didn't kill him when he approached her and climbed up onto her. But when they started flying, he fell off and died. Most likely, Cyrax threw him off because they were not bonded. So let's pretend Danny gets far along in her pregnancy and the war is still going on. Could Jon ride Drogon? I highly doubt it. But to play devil's advocate, as Elmar mentioned, the story is about breaking wheels, creating a new and better world for the children of tomorrow. No dragon has ever been bonded by two people at the same time. But maybe this will be a first. And if anyone is going to pull off something for the first time, it's going to be our boy Jon Snow. And check this out, Elamar also wonders whether Jon's new bond to Danny may give him access to Drogon, in a sense. That's a cool idea and I like where your head's at. I can't definitely say no, but based on Aegon and his sister wives never riding one another's dragons, and also Cyrax killing her rider's own son, I don't think the bond works that way. I like the idea though, Elamar, so if it turns out to be true, I definitely won't complain. However, I have a problem with Jon riding Drogon, because dragon bonds are magical. Danny and Drogon's bond is special, and if Jon rides Drogon while Danny still lives, it sort of cannibalizes the magical bond between Danny and Drogon. After chatting back and forth a little bit, Elmar adjusted her prediction. This is pretty cool. So Danny is clearly an alpha cat. We aren't denying that. And Danny's a savior in the eyes of many. Daria Zaltrizzotti. We're going to meet the savior. You should have told me. Who doesn't want to meet the savior? But guy or girl, it's okay to be saved by a loved one every once in a while. Danny doesn't always have to be the hero, and we've seen this before. Khal Drogo duped and crowned the Ceres. So Jorah speared a harpy. So Elmar no longer thinks that Jon will bond a dragon, but thinks it'd be pretty cool if Jon and Drogon together saved Danny at some point. A one-time dragon riding experience where Jon and Drogon see eye to eye. I dig it. Number three. So what about Danny dying? If she dies, then yeah, Jon could bond with and ride Drogon. Maybe Drogon's Lightbringer, and instead of Danny being Azor High, it's Jon. I doubt it though, because I think Jon's role will be sort of like the new last hero. Maybe a peacemaker, 
or maybe a warrior fighting both the Dead Army and the Fiery Hand of Rolor. Because I just don't buy into the idea of John being Azor Ahai, the hero of Team Fire, since John is a song of ice and fire, not a song of fire. Okay, here's the last one and the most likely. Number four, Rhaegal. As you know, John's natural father was Rhaegar. Rhaegal was named after Rhaegar. So it'll be pretty poetic if John bonds with and rides Rhaegar. It'll also be pretty obvious. At the end of the day, John riding a dragon could be poetic. Danny on Drogon, the Night King on Viserion, and John on Rhaegal. There's balance, fire on one, ice on the other, and ice and fire on the third. But even without John riding Rhaegal, there's still a balance between ice and fire. Plus, as I keep saying, I think Drogon, Rhaegal, and Viserion are the three heads of the dragon. The dragon being another word for a Targaryen, like Danny, who is the last dragon. And I'm not the only one who expects John not to ride a dragon. Mel of Winterfell notes that John's a swordsman. Fighting on Drogon would be pretty cool, but that's just not his bread and butter. But let me know what you think, guys. Am I the only one who does not want to see John ride a dragon? Don't get me wrong, John's awesome, and I love dragons. But it just doesn't feel right. Bonding a dragon requires a special bond, a magical connection. I believe there are similarities to working an animal. It involves blood magic in a sense, not actual blood, but your soul, your life force, you share souls. And John's already got that one. Go! So apologies for jinxing this, but I hope John never bonds with a dragon. Instead, I hope we get a lot more of Ghost in season eight. That's it folks, what about Tyrion? Is he a Targaryen? Will he ride a dragon? And what about Bran? Will he ever fly? Will he warg a dragon? Check out the video description for links to those two videos. And just an FYI, Two out of every three videos for the rest of the year are going to be on Patreon only. So if you want to help support the channel and get more Game of Thrones, join the team in the discussion over there. Links in the video description. All right. Thanks, guys. I'm out.